Grand Vision for DealFlix is really exciting. It's kind of what keeps me and my co-founder Kevin especially excited every day. Uh, and what we learned initially was, was we got to focus on the supply side first because initially we were thinking, oh, let's just sign up one movie theater, then it's all just going to be about customers and from there it'll be easy to get movie theaters. And what we learned was getting movie theater partners to be onboarded was a lot more difficult, especially in the early days. We needed movie theaters to even get the moviegoers because when we first started the company, we had a one screen, one theater out in Gardena, California. And I think the first and only movie they were playing was The Three Stooges. And so we did a lot of marketing with flyers and around the area. And we realized, I don't think we sold one ticket for that movie, honestly, when it first came out for our first week or whatever, when we were launching DealFlix. But we realized really quickly, we needed to have the good inventory and a lot of it in order to even do marketing in the first place. And it took us about a year really to get a, a decent amount of inventory before we started to see somewhat decent sales. Uh, that's the main thing that we need to execute on. So right now we actually have uh, around 600 theaters that we've signed up nationally. That's been really great and we've also added more and more bigger chains too. So it's not just independent theaters anymore. Uh, we now also have 14 of the top 50 chains that are partners of ours and three of the top 10 chains that are partners of ours. As of today, this last month in July, we actually just broke over 100,000 tickets and concessions sold for the month. So uh, that was kind of a nice big milestone that we've been trying to get to for a while. So we sold 100,000 in the month and we just broke over a million tickets and concessions sold total. Um, so the cool thing about DealFlix is so far we've been focusing on pretty much just adding as many new customer channels as possible. And we hadn't really focused too much on the actual customer acquisition cost itself. In spite of that, we were still seeing customer acquisition costs on average blending our paid and organic around the $4 range. So that was really good. Um, this next six months, a big focus for us is lowering the customer acquisition costs further. So we're starting to focus on, okay, here's our three, or three biggest paid channels and let's actually lower the customer acquisition costs in those channels. And this is a new thing that we haven't really focused too much on before. So we think we're going to be able to get the customer acquisition costs down even more as we do that. One of the big things is to continue to expand our footprint of theaters in the United States. Uh, we have about 600 or so theaters, but there's about 6,000 theaters in the United States. Another big thing is getting inventory, not just for the deep discounted show times, but also for opening weekend. So this might not even be a discounted ticket. It might just be a full price ticket. It might even be a ticket that's more for full price, depending on how much demand there is but we want to get inventory for every single showtime for our current theaters. Um, that's another big thing that we want to do. Those two things are big pieces for us because once we have those two things, we can actually start to do more white label partnerships with other players. So we've actually been in talks with movie community sites like Flickster or Rotten Tomatoes about selling deal flicks on their platforms. We've been in talks with other companies that sell event tickets, um, companies that sell tickets for concerts or sporting events or comedy events or whatever it might be. Um, so those people with our white label solution, they can sell DealFlix inventory on their platforms as well. So that's kind of our US plan. We're really excited about that. And then international expansion is another big one. So we've already been in talks with a number of chains in Canada and in Europe, um, even in South America. We're starting to talk to people out in the Asia Pacific and Asia. And so there's a lot of demand even out there for something like DealFlix. And so eventually long term, we want to spread ourselves internationally. After that, we're looking at other additional supplementary add-ons that we can throw into the mix. So for instance, uh, bundling is a big one. So right now you can buy a movie ticket or you can buy a movie ticket with the popcorn on DealFlix, but imagine being able to buy a movie ticket and a digital download for the prequel. For instance, Hunger Games is coming out. So imagine on DealFlix you buy a movie ticket for Hunger Games and it comes with the last Hunger Games, Catching Fire Part 1. Right there you can download it and watch it. Another thing that we're looking at is even bundling it with consumer products. So imagine going to the next Lego movie and it comes with a special set of Legos uh, from DealFlix. So those are some things that we're actually talking with some companies about as well. The way that we see DealFlix is, DealFlix is the app that you use for movie tickets worldwide. That's kind of what we want to be doing with DealFlix. And so that's what excites us. That's what gets us motivated to keep going.